Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now, apparently it's Sunday, so we're going to do the punk roundup today. Uh, I haven't known what day it is for about two weeks. Anyway, we've got a bunch of punk bands. We've been checking out loads of great punk bands we're doing a punk day every Sunday for months and months now. Um, I must admit, I don't normally check out that much punk, but I've been enjoying doing it via the show. Same with rock as well. Uh, I listen to a bit of rock now and again, but we've been doing kind of a day a week for the rock as well. So we've checked out loads of rock and punk bands, more than I normally would within a year, uh, but I've enjoyed every every kind of time we've done it. Uh, Punk's got a great energy. We've checked out loads of different styles of punk, skater punk, D-beat, crusty punk, punk rock from all around the world as well we get all the accents coming through from around the world love that uh some group vocal usually as well on the punk day so yeah we've i've really enjoyed it for all of those kind of cool elements so i've got a bunch of bands to mention today and a bunch of different styles we're going to start off with the skater punk kind of bands that we've had on we've had a, a bunch of good skater punk bands as well i'll mention this band first this is wishful thinking we've had them on the show a bunch of times these guys, they're from uh, Australia as well. These guys are just solid kind of late 90s, early 2000s skater punk, punk rock. Um, I think they've just got a great sound, always got a nice grizzly bass tone in the mix as well uh, and some good energy in their music. So yeah, I think these guys are a good band. Uh, this is what they sound like. What we have is over somehow and it's time to be Always catch your ear on the bass in this mix, which is what I like. And this time I'll be moving on. Yeah. This guy's got good, good sound. That track particularly has got a good energy as well. Nice kind of high tempo skater punk uh, for that real aggressive skating. Very cool. Now this band's cool as well, all the time everywhere. Uh, these guys as well, kind of similar skatery punk vibe to it, uh, that kind of pop punk vibe, all of that stuff going on. Now we've had these guys on the show a bunch of times as well, always a good track, uh, but I think this was the first one that we checked out and I think this is the one that I, I enjoyed the most of all the ones that we've checked out. <laughs> Good sound, again you can hear the bass nicely in these guys. Mixing it up, got a good sound these guys. Each track we checked out was good, I enjoyed every single one. Now we only had these guys on the channel once, this was Heart Sync, but again these had that kind of pop punk, almost anthemic vibe to this track. I thought it was very cool, these guys are from the UK. Um, both of the two guys in the band did singing in it as well and they both had a good voice. Uh, and this was just a well made track, you know, so it's just one of those kind of tracks you could imagine on the radio in the early 2000s, things like that. Fortunately, this music isn't as popular as it once was. Well written track this one was. Just move from each section to the next nicely. Um, yeah, so I'd like to see more of these guys. We only heard that one track, but I thought it was a good one. So yeah, hear some more of them in 2021, hopefully. <clears throat> now these guys, these guys were really great. Uh, End of Pipe, we again had these guys on the channel a bunch of times, about three times I think we've had them on, which is great because they're obviously releasing a bunch of content for us to check out, love that. These guys have just got a great sound. Uh, again, nice, <clears throat> excuse me, bass tone in the mix. Uh, good skater punk energy. Nice deep vocal on this guy with a lot of gravel like I've got in my throat today as well, apparently. So yeah, end of pipe. These guys were good. A lot of the 
the bands we got on this list and that we've checked out in the punk days. And a bunch of things that I love in punk. Group vocals, being able to hear the bass in the mix, punk rock beats, you know? All those things I just love to hear in punk. And we've had it a lot this year, so I've just been really enjoying it. Yeah, these guys have got a great sound and every track again that we checked out from them was very, very cool. Now, that's the end of the skate punk. Um, and this is really kind of the, some of the only kind of bands with this sound that you're going to get. Uh, this is what I called alt punk. And I'm not sure if that's the official name for it, if it even got an official name, because there's not too many people doing this. This is kind of more of a British style, but we have had bands now from elsewhere in the world doing this kind of thing. It's got a comedy element to it. It's got a kind of you know, poppy element to it in a way. It's got an almost kind of hip hop and rap element to it, spoken word um, and using the the, the lines uh, to kind of almost rap the lyrics out. Um, but yeah, this is a strange type of music. It's got a punk vibe, got a punk edge to it. The, you know, the lyrics are kind of punky based as well. Uh, so this is Dead Sheeran with Keep Your Distance. Just put the fucking thing on your twat. This track came out before they've had a bunch of extra lockdowns in the UK, so we could have written this one about three or four times. Um, but yeah, this is a great track, a good energy, uh, and you're only ever going to hear that kind of sound from this kind of music. It's very out of the ordinary. And these guys are a bit along that lines, but also not. These, I think these guys are kind of really doing their own thing. Uh, we haven't quite had another punk band that's got exactly the same vibe as these guys. Uh, they've got a bit of that comedy element in it. They've got a bit of that spoken word in there as well, uh, a bit like Dead Sheeran, but they've also got some singy parts and kind of more traditional punk rocky parts and stuff in there as well. So these guys, you never really know what you're going to get from them. We've checked them out a bunch of times, I think about three times, uh, and each track's been different, uh, but they've all been very, very high quality with a good video and everything as well. You get the accent coming through in the music. Um, so yeah, these guys are good, arrogant twins, and I enjoyed this first track we checked out Bobby Dazzler. Well, do you want a drink or not? I'm gonna get some shots. And then we'll get fucked up. And then I try my luck. Maybe a fight or two will prove my masculinity. It's all I got. I guess I'll make my This one's got a good energy, they've got a good sound, nice high quality mix, it sounds professional. Um, so yeah, good band these guys, uh, hopefully see them a lot more in the new year. Now we're moving into more kind of punk rock, heavier punk now, distorted punk, shouty punk. Uh, and this is personally my favourite because I like heavy music uh, and I just like the heavy punk the most. I like the skater punk for its energy. Um, I like the kind of alt punk for its differentness and its experimentalness. But, you know, if I had to choose, if I had to it was on a desert island and could only listen to one type of punk for the rest of my life, it would be heavy punk rock with distorted guitars, shouty vocals, moving into hardcore and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I just love the energy of that. I love the power of it. Um, I love the anger of the vocal and the shout and all of that stuff. Just think that's, you know, for me, where the energy of punk really is kind of firing on all cylinders. Check this band out, enjoyed them, picked up their merch as well. Uh, this is my latest failure, Selfish. They, these guys are from the UK as well. I was there for you, right from the start. Always had your back, but you gave laughing, laughing. Selfish, 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 selfish,
extra distortion on the guitars fills out the sound a bit more. Heavy drums, uh, big washy cymbals, and the shouty vocals again just fills it out, gives it more power, gives it more kind of weight. Uh, and that's just what my ears love, you know, I just love heavy music. Now, we've checked these guys out loads recently because they've been pumping out the content and making submissions, very appreciative of that. And because of that, we've got to know this band more and more recently. They were first on this show kind of back in April or something like that. Uh, didn't hear from them from a while, but in the last month or two, they've put out three or four submissions um, from a, a live performance that they did, which was great, well recorded, you could see all their gear and everything. Uh, and these guys, they've got a bunch of edges to their music. They're not strictly just punk. They've got rocky stuff in there. They've got some kind of sludgy stuff and doomy stuff in there. And I think these guys just kind of do whatever they want. You know, they're not they're not like, oh, we're a punk band, so we're only going to do punk tracks. They just jam out, make a track, and it is what it is, you know. Uh, so very cool. Uh, but they're all great kind of musicians. Uh, the drummer whacks the hell out of his kit, which I personally love. I love to see drummers really going for it. Uh, you know, Lars Ulrich gets a lot of shit for being a kind of simple drummer but one thing you can't say about Lars Ulrich is that he phones it in he doesn't put in the effort because Lars Ulrich whacks the hell out of his kit every single gig that he plays and I love him for that uh, I just love drummers slapping their kit as hard as they can really putting the effort in because it's another level of passion it's another level of energy to pump into the music uh, and it just tells me the drummer's really feeling it you know uh, you don't whack your drums really hard and get into it unless you're feeling the music music so I just think it's cool to see drummers do that this guy does that a lot uh, you must get through the symbols so I've put these guys on the list uh, and if you've been watching the show recently you'll have seen their tracks anyway but yeah this is Keely uh, and I just think they're a very cool band now so here they are on the list <laughs> Fuzzy and grizzly. So yeah, these guys are cool. No doubt we're going to get some more vids out of them in the new year. Uh, because these are the kind of guys that are, are always putting up pics on their Instagram and stuff like that. Engaging with the fans, keeping you in their mind. Um... No, keeping them in your mind, I should have said. Because, uh, you know, nowadays there's so many bands to check out. There's so many bands to follow on social media and all the rest of it. That if you're only putting up an upload every kind of six months, it's easy to forget you. But when you're putting up uploads every other day or every day and kind of being funny with them and doing little memes and things like that, you know, it's just you, you, you get in with the band more. The reason these guys are on this list is because they made a bunch of submissions um, and we got to know their sound we got to check them out and realize yeah these guys are a great band whereas if we'd just gone off the one track that we checked out initially which had no video to it as i remember couldn't see all the members of the band couldn't see their gear couldn't see how much they get into their music and all of that uh, they wouldn't have been on this list so you know by being on the show, by us checking you out, by having videos, particularly like this, where we can see all your stuff, we can see you playing um, and kind of get to know the band a bit more in that way over, say, just a lyric video or something like that. You know, I get on board more with the band because of that, because I think, yeah, these guys are great. The drummer waxes his kit. They've got a bunch of cool gear. The bassist uses a lot of distortion on his uh you know, his effects pedal and stuff like that. Oh, they've got a bunch of different styles. You never know what you're going to get. Um, so the more you make submissions, the more you're on the show, the more we get to know you, the more we like it. It's as simple as that. You know, that's the way it goes. This band was very cool as well. A test or I think these guys are from the UK. I've heard a bunch of UK punk bands because I... I don't know, I just connect, I guess, with the UK punk more than all the other style, all the other kind of uh, places in the world. I just think 
When you get the British accent coming through in a UK punk band, especially a heavy punk rock band with a shouty vocal, I don't know, it just ticks my boxes. These guys, we only checked them out once, but they had a great heavy track, punk rock track, uh, and it was just really kind of authentic UK punk rock. I thought it sounded great. It just sounds right, it's got the right energy, it's got the right tone, it's got a nice grisly bass, you can hear the accent come through in the music, you know, just ticks all the boxes for me, that does, it's got a nice kind of heaviness to it as well, so yeah. I enjoyed these guys a lot, but we need to hear a lot more out of these guys in the new year um, because one track and it's only 1 minute 36 wasn't enough. Same with these guys as well. Uh, I really like this track and I could tell from listening to it, you know, these guys are really kind of authentic, kind of crust punkers, if you like. Uh, it just came across really well. I enjoyed it a lot. Had an energy, had an emotion to it as well. Uh, had a real anger in the vocal and stuff. I just thought it sounded great and it just kind of came across right. You know, it came across the way it should. So this is Napalm Raid, but I want to hear a lot more of these guys next year. <laughs> Great vocal. The pain is a strain in the vocal. Great energy. As I say, if I only had to be only able to listen to one type of punk for the rest of my life, I'd be happy listening to this. It's high energy, it's fat, it's got a good distortion to it, it's got a great bass tone in it, shouty, passionate vocals. Yeah, no worries, I'll listen to that for the rest of my days, happily. Now, this is the last band I'm going to mention today, and we only checked these guys out once again. They only had a 1 minute 36 track, which is really a tiny amount of time to have checked these guys out. Um, but I could tell these guys were absolutely great. I th love their sound. I listened to their track a bunch more after checking it out on the show and some of their other stuff as well. These guys have just got a great sound, heavily distorted, pushed up, you know, over the top mix, loads of kind of fizzle and crackle in the mix uh, and just a burst of raw energy and sound uh, and I just love that you know this what I'm saying heavy loud punk with shouty vocals I'm down with that all day long so this is bad breeding we're going to listen to the whole of their track um, even though it's only one minute 36 uh, this was who's cause got to get these guys on the channel more in the new year it's as simple as that because yeah absolutely great sound nicely, big fat dirty guitar tone as well, distorted drums, really noisy, nice and wide on the stereo. Oh, <laughs> 
Love that riff. There you go. That's it. Great sound to that one. Really noisy, distorted, breaking up. Still got a stringiness to the guitar, though, as well. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of an experimental sound in its own right because no, none of the other bands sounded quite like that. Even in the grindcore days and stuff like that, never quite sounded like that. Um, I thought that was just a great mix, a great sound, uh, great energy. I love that riff. Yeah, just a, just a short blast, so as I say. One minute 36 is, is long enough for that track, I think. It's got a, you know, it's kind of just long enough for that track, but you need more of them after that. You can't just listen to one minute 36 of Bad Breeding and be done with it, you know. You've got to listen to more of their tracks. So I'm hoping to listen to more of their music in the new year, um, if they release any, but maybe you have to go and kind of dive back into their discography, if not, because uh, I want to hear more of this band, want to get to know them more. And again, I'm pretty sure they're a UK band. I think we've had quite a few UK bands today. Um, but UK just kicks it in the punk realm. Uh, but we have had some other places, Australia and other places as well. So, yeah. We've had a great year on the channel for punk, in my opinion. I'm going to continue to do the punk days every Sunday because uh, I've still got a bunch of bands in the queue. Uh, but not only that, as I say, I enjoy it now. I've got to kind of know the punk sound more and more. I like to hear the skater punk. I like to hear the punk rock. And then I like to hear the kind of homebrew stuff and lo-fi stuff and other stuff that comes down the queue along with it. So, yeah, it's a good day. Uh, and on a Sunday, you know, we've checked out heavy music all week sometimes it's nice to just get a totally different vibe going with the punk so yeah i enjoy it uh stick around each sunday if you like punk um but yeah that's going to be it for the roundup video some great bands on this list to go and check out um whatever kind of punk it is you like skater punk punk rock or just random out there alt punk anyway hope you've enjoyed that guys have a great sunday see you around bye